All right, so once we're in uh, Fusion 360, um, after you've logged in with your account credentials or anything like that, it'll take a second to load up, and then um, we'll be in our workspace. Um, and then we'll see that we're logged in. I mean, I'm logged in as myself here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sample um, of just some, some material, um, whatever it may be, right? So one of the easiest things to do is um, we're gonna start with, what we can do uh, is we can create and we can just say, okay, we wanna create a box. Pretty easy. Um, and then we're just going to, you'll get a whole bunch of uh, quadrant options to select here. And it's kind of confusing at first. There are entire lecture series devoted to how to use Autodesk Fusion 360. Um, but this is just kind of a quick and dirty explanation. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna put it on this flat laying surface here. Um, so I'm gonna click that plane. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this option, this very middle point, the zero, zero point here. And then I'm just gonna extend it to some, I don't know, arbitrary amount, just let's say right there. Um, and then what we can do is we'll get this little box over here. We have our length, width, and height. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, it's in millimeters just because I like to set my, uh, whenever I work in millimeters or the metric, um, I can get a bit more precise than if I'm working um, with the ANSI uh, Imperial measurements. Um, so what I want to do here is let's say, let's say we want to make this box, I don't know, uh, six inches long. Um, so I'm going to say six inches and we've got a six inch long um, box right there. But maybe that's not the direction I want it to go in. So okay, let's, let's look at the width. Let's make the width six inches. Um, that's what I want. Um, so let's say that it's maybe uh, four, well let's say this is the one we want, four inches. Boom, look at that. Um, and then we'll say maybe it's uh, at its thickest, let's say it's a quarter inch thick. Um, 0.25 maybe, 0.25. Um, so that's, that, this is just a hypothetical. Um, so we've got a six inch by four inch piece of material that's about a quarter inch thick. And that's okay, we'll just, we'll make it a new body as is. We're gonna click okay. And we've got our sample here. Um, and we can, we can look around by holding the left shift and clicking the, clicking and holding the middle mouse wheel. And we can, we get, the, we get this 3D image um, of, of what we just made. Um, or we can just uh, select points on this little box up in the top right here and we can pivot around that. Um, but all we really need is, we just wanna look at the box like this, boom. Um, and I'm using my middle mouse wheel and clicking and holding it to kind of navigate around um, so but what we can do is we can even, uh, we can go as far as to select the type of material, but for now I'm not going to really worry about that. Um, so now what we're going to do is because we have our material, um, we're going to insert and we're going to insert an SVG. And we're going to click the surface we want to put the SVG on and we want it to be on this top surface. So it highlights the top surface because we're over it. Um, if we wanted it to be on the side here, we could select the side or this side or even the bottom side or whatever. We're just going to select this top side. I'm just going to left click it real quick. And we notice that it kind of squares up with what we're looking at. And that's okay. We're still good. Um, so right over here in the select SVG file uh, dialog, we're just going to click a little folder icon. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I've got tons and tons of folders in here because I do a lot of this stuff uh, as is. Um, so, I mean, we've got like a little hummingbird SVG, we've got a honeycomb, we've got um, some gears, uh, I've got a chicken, I guess. But what we want is in our pictures file that we just saved, uh, we want the Michigan outline. So we're going to click and make sure that our file name is the Michigan outline SVG that we just made. We're going to open it up and look at that, it imports. Um, so what we can actually do is because uh, we're, we're, making, we're making strides, but we're not quite there yet. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of move this so I can uh, see the image a little bit better. There's this little, uh, I, I don't know what to really call it, this little toolbox here, I guess, uh, a couple different options. Um, so this little circle is going to allow us to rotate the image. So what I want to do is I want to rotate it 180 degrees. And that looks about right. And we can tell I rotated it 180 degrees because when I import this image, it imports at an angle of zero. Um, but we got right here, this little, this little dialogue option that says we just rotated it 180 degrees. 
Um, so I guess just to kind of show the difference, if I set this at zero and hit, well, I didn't even have to hit enter. If I just set it at zero, it goes back to its original position. But if I type 180, it'll flip it to the orientation I want it to be in. But we're not quite done yet because we want this image in this box. So I'm just going to take this little arrow and click and drag it up. Once again, I'm using my, I'm clicking and holding the middle mouse wheel to pan the box around. Um, and I'm going to do this and move it up a little bit more. And I'm going to, right next to this little square here, um, there's a little tiny like curve and my the hand icon changes. If I pull this out while clicking it, it scales the image up and that's what we want. Um, so now what I can do is I can move this around, but let's say, okay, I want to move it to the left. Oh, that's too much because now we're falling outside of the box. Okay, I want to go back this way. Once again, if I move it the other way, we're, we're too far over. So what we can do actually is this box right here that's next to the image, the, not the image, but I guess the option to scale it. Um, this box here is like a free move. So I can move it wherever I want. Um, so I guess we've scaled it to a pretty good size um, for the most part, um, because if we make it too large, we're gonna start spilling over the edges. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, okay, how it's scaled up now, perfect. Where it's at now on the box, also good. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna hit finish sketch. And then if I do the shift and middle click, look at that, I get the image. Um, and now I've got two little um, sections of Michigan here. Um, so what I can do is I say, okay, that, that looks about right. Um, we're gonna go to design and manufacture. Um, so now we're in the manufacture tab. Um, and this is where things get a little bit tricky and I'll be making a separate video on how to mill this out on a CNC or engrave it or do whatever we need to do with it because it will get kind of complicated. But that's how we take the SVG file that we made in the previous video and get it into Fusion 360 uh, to be able to work with.